want to say it's been a minute. Shout out to everybody for coming back. It's been a it's been a a long freaking bye week. Finally get us a game. Uh recap, Miami Dolphins and Las Vegas Raiders, a game where I felt the Miami Dolphins held the Las Vegas Raiders in this game. Yes, it did kind of feel like after the Kansas City Chiefs loss, the morale was kind of low for the Dolphins, where I felt like, that, yes, the Raiders was going to give us a run for our money. But at the same time, I felt like I feel like this was going to be a very, very tough game for the Miami Dolphins, to be honest with you. And, and lo and behold, it was the, they made it a whole lot harder than it needed to be. Now. Turnovers for the Miami Dolphins was a big, huge problem. This is a prime example of what happens when you turn the freaking ball over. The Dolphins turned the ball over three times. The first, the first drive, the first offensive drive for the Miami Dolphins, to have fumbled the ball. Julian Hill turned the ball over. He fumbled the ball, and then of course you had the, the turnover on downs. We was clearly in field goal range where we could have. We had and we was down. <laughs> we was in field goal range and we was down and we decided to go for it and we ended up not converting. And then of course the two interception the two interception that put that kept the Raiders in the game too as well. So three turnovers. Three turnovers and a turnover on down. So technically I count I count the turnover on downs as four turnovers because at the end of the day the field position doesn't move. So yeah, this is a clear a clear example of how turnovers can keep not so good teams in games. And I felt like as far as like the Las Vegas, Las Vegas Raiders was concerned, offense was really wasn't moving. They had a couple of little splash plays here and there. Obviously their first touchdown was a deep bomb to Devontae Adams. But outside of that, the, the Raiders really weren't really weren't moving the ball like that. Like they were they were stuck. The Dolphins defense was was handling business. But the Dolphins offense just kept on holding the holding the Las Vegas Raiders in the game, thankfully that the Dolphins' defense did a phenomenal job holding him. But at the same time, we're looking at Aiden O'Connell, who today has showed some good things and showed some bad things, where uh, 20, 24 for 41 for 271 yards, excuse me, one touchdown and three interceptions. If we're being honest, I'm looking at the two interceptions he threw. Well, two, the two, there was two plays in particular. It was the turnover on downs play, and the interception, and one of the interceptions uh, at the end of the game, uh, at the end of the game in the end zone. The turnover and downs play. You throw it. You throwing the ball to you like you going to your number one guy. You throwing it to your hundred million dollar guy in Devonte Adams. Excuse me. You throw it to your number one guy, Devontae Adams. You over here throwing the ball to everybody else, and I put that on play call at 1,000%. I put that on play call at 1,000%. Like, there's no way I'm not throwing the ball to my top guy. The, clearly, Devontae Adams is not where Jalen Ramsey is. That's another thing that you need to think about. Like, teams don't throw to Jalen Ramsey's side, whether it be for the Rams, whether it be now for this short stink with the Miami Dolphins. You don't throw to Jalen Ramsey's side, and for some particular reason, in the crucial situations, the Las Vegas Raiders decided to throw over there, and it's not even the number one, number one top receiver that the Raiders had out there. Cool, fine with me. That, hey, you make it easy for us. But clearly today, Jalen Ramsey has shown that he's still a top corner in this league. Two interceptions, one at the end to seal the deal. But like I said, play calling for the Raiders was a big, huge problem. Turnovers, rookie mistakes for Aiden O'Connell. They could not. They, they could not move the ball. Now on the flip side, look at the Miami Dolphins offense. Now, look. As long as the Miami Dolphins are able to keep the running game going, like we should be good. Raheem Mostert was had 22 carries for 86 yards. Tua was on time with what he wanted to do. Had a big game. 28 for 39 for 325, two touchdowns and an interception. I don't know where we're going to go with that one because of the fact that I feel like. Waddle could have ran that route a little bit deeper, but at the same time, Tua did kind of overshoot him. So I'm kind of going. I think I want to put that one on Tua. But outside of the interception, Tua was was was, was had a pretty decent day. If we're being honest, he had a pretty decent day, able to get the ball to Tyreek Hill for him to make plays after the catch. Had a nice, phenomenal touchdown. I swear, him, him, Tyreek, and old school Odell Beckham back in the day, great after the catch. Great after the catch receivers. 
great after the catch that receivers. Like, they're second to none. Now, Waddle, when Tyreek was out for that little short period of time today, Waddle looked like he could do that too. But that's one of the main things I look at when it comes to receivers. Like, yards after the catch, separation they get after the catch. Like, were they able to just catch the ball and be 0 to 100 quick? Like, and Tyreek does that, does it a phenomenal job. Did scare us a little bit when he went into the locker room, but he came out just to be a threat. We was good to go. Now, like I said, we still, we're still still singing the same song. Yes, the Raiders at the time, what, they were 5-5, five and five, now they're 5-6. and six. They were a 500 team. Do we really want to count this as a as a 500 team? Like, they're in flux. Lost, lost their head coach at the beginning of the year, Josh McDaniels. Obviously, he was terrible. I think they're a better team. I think they're a much better team with Antonio Pierce at the, at the interim head coaching job. But do we really want to call them a 500 team? I just want to go ahead and just put that out there because I I I don't know what I want to call. I I, I don't really I, don't, I really don't know what to call them because again, I'm I'm sitting down watching the game. The game is the final score is twenty to thirteen, and we struggle against uh, struggling against this team. We're struggling against this team, and we're and we're at the top of the AFCs. We're one of the, we're one of the top seeds. If the playoffs were start, going to start tomorrow, we're one of the top seeds. And I've seen something I've seen today that. I am not confident in what I what I saw out there today. I, this was a very very underwhelming game for the Miami Dolphins, in my honest opinion. Where offensively we should have played a whole lot better than what we did. Yes, I, again, I get it. There were some missed opportunities, but at the same time, we need to go ahead and get get this thing done because when it comes down to separating the good teams, the bad teams from the good teams, good teams cap capitalize on mistakes, and we get left in the dust. Granted, the Raiders did turn the ball over too, which did save us, but we didn't capitalize. I felt like we didn't capitalize the way we were supposed to on the turnovers, field goals, punts. At the turn, like I want, I want to be able to put some points on the board at the, every single turnover. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know what it is. If you enjoy the content, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. This is Devore.